Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to talk about probability. And probability is the odds of something happening. And there are three axioms that you must know, so it's very important to keep them in mind. Is that any probability or any event A it has a probability between 1 and 0. It cannot be more than 1, but it cannot be less than 0. The probability of the whole sample space, so if you have event A plus event B plus event C and so on, their sum must be 1, that's the sample space. And if um, A, event A, event B, event C, let's call them A1 and A2 and A3 all the way to AN, and they all have nothing in common, so they are mutually exclusive, then the probability is just a1 plus the probability of A2 plus the probability of A3. That will give you the sum of their probabilities. Alright, so let's take a, take a look at how they look like in Venn diagrams. So this is the probability of A, and it's just everything inside here. So anything inside the circle is probability of A. Probability of A complement is everything outside A. So it's everything over here, but not inside the circle of A. The probability of A union B is A and B together. So it's everything inside A and everything inside B. And they're the part in between their intersection. The probability of A intersection B is just what, what A and B have in common. So it's just this part here. And the probability of A union B complement is everything outside A and B. So everything outside both circles. Alright, and the probability of A symmetric difference B, and there's a sign for symmetric difference, is everything inside A and B excluding their intersection. So it's everything inside A and B but not their intersection. So this part here does not count. Alright so that was based on basic um, names for probability. Alright so let's take a look, look at an example. So let's say x integers are selected at random without replacement. So you take one integer, you cannot use it again. And the range is from 1 to 100. Now what is the probability that their sum is even? And for the first, for part A, we're going to take x as 2. So two integers are selected at random. Alright, so the way to go about this is if you have a sample space. So the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 100. And you have to pick two numbers from there. So the probability of the sample space, or like the, yeah, the probability of the sample space is equal to 100. Choose 2, because you're taking two integers only. And that is equal to, let me hit in the calculator, 100 choose 2 is 4,950. Okay. So if you take two integer integers, there are two ways of getting an even sum. One is if, so, two ways of getting even. Either x and y are even, that's called integer 1 x and integer 2 is y. So they're both even, or x and y are both odd. So that's the two ways of getting um, two integers to be even, or the sum of two integers to be even. Alright, so here you have a is equal to x comma y, where x plus y equals an even number. So that's like the sample space for it. Alright, so if you have to pick an even number, now out out of a hundred, from one to a hundred, there are fifty even numbers and fifty odd numbers. So if you want both to be even, then that is equal to. 
So the probability of A is equal to 50 choose 2. So that's the probability for even numbers. So here that is even. Both are even. And the probability of picking two odd numbers will be 50 choose 2. So here both are odd. And if you just sum them up, you get the probability of A, which is equal to okay, 50 choose 2. That is 1,225 plus 1,225, which is equal to 2,450. And now to get the actual probability of A, this, sorry, this is the number in A. So the number of possibilities in A. So the probability of A is equal to uh, 2,450 which is the, prob the num number of possibilities in A divided by 4,950. So 4,950. And that is equal to 0 0.49. And one thing to check when you're doing probability, if you're getting a number greater than 1, then you're definitely doing something wrong. Because the probability is always smaller than 1 and greater than 0. All right, so now that we took it, that was two numbers. So two integers were picked at random. So now let's have three ran three integers selected at random without replacement. So just like last time, let's calculate the number of ways to get an even number. <coughs> 